promise you we'll get to the Padre highlights in just a bit, but here is the prep recap. We start with the Monday All Sports Report. Last week, Maddie Sinclair brought you the story of the Foothills Christian lacrosse team making the playoffs for the very first time in school history. Well, here is their first playoff game, Division II, uh, playing game against Chula Vista, second quarter of the Knights, Blake Nolan with the behind the back goal to make the Knights, uh, get the Knights within three, but later in the second, the Spartans on Hilares with the fast break goal to give Chula Vista a commanding lead. He would score five on the afternoon. The Spartans go on to win it by a 9-6 margin. Chula Vista will get Point Loma on Wednesday. Girls Division, one quarter final top seed. Del Norte hosting the eight seed Mission Hills squad. Mission Hills, Therese Tedro to Sierra Clark. A goal there makes it give them a 4-3 lead. Two minutes later, Del Norte's Delaney Anderson comes in from the side for the first of her three scores. And then with 140 left in the half, Del Norte's Rachel Ware gets the third score of her six-goal outing. Del Norte wins 15-6. They go to the Division I semifinals where they'll face the winner of the Bishops' East Lake game. Mission Hills completes their year at 12-10. D1 quarterfinals at Pac Pacific Ridge. The third seeded Lady Firebirds take it on Renter Bernardo. This is Fair Woods feeding it to Lori Elod for the one of her two scores. Later, she dishes to Meadow James, and she hits the back of the net. Hat trick for her. Oh, did I tell you Woods could also score? She finishes with four. The Lady Broncos scored an upset win. Their final score, 12-4. They'll take on Del Norte Thursday. Five versus four matchup as Bishop travels to East Lake for the D1 quarterfinals. First half, East Lake's Janel Fortuno finds Katie Carroll for the score, one of her five. As the Titans lead by six at the break, second half, East Lake's lead is just three, but Corey Montero slams the door with her fourth goal of the contest. East Lake 15 11 winners. The final, they will get the winner of this next one here, number two seed, Granite Hills, hosting the 10 seed, Canyon Crest. The Ravens, Anna Hong scores one of her four. Canyon Crest builds an 8 5 halftime lead. In the second half, the Eagles, McKenna Ruffino. Scores one of her three, cutting the lead to two. That's when the Ravens, Audrey Tharp, takes over. Tharp finishes with nine scores as Canyon Crest pulls away for a 20 to 8 win. It will be Canyon Crest and East Lake in the other half of the semifinals on Thursday. At the Barnes Tennis Center, D1 team finals as La Jolla takes on Coronado. The Islanders, Diego Yanez in the far court, defeats the Vikings, Mas Mason Kellogg, 6 1. La Jolla's Alex Stromloff in the far court wins all three of his matches on the afternoon. And the Vikings, Ryan Phillips in the near court, gets past the Islanders, Isaac Del Rincon, 6 to 6 1. In the doubles play, La Jolla's Rudenberg and Doback in the far court defeat Coronado's Yanez and Ramirez 6 3 as the Vikings win the D1 title, the final 12 6. I knew we had it in the bag, I knew we could do it, and we just got a few of our guys back that we've, been, we've lost throughout the season. We have a great chemistry throughout the team, we can all play great together, 